Hey folks, Fetter the Firearm. A few months ago, my mom bought me a new shotgun, and I use the term new very loosely. It's an old shotgun. And the shotgun wasn't functioning, and she had never had any intentions on fixing it. But what she bought me was an old Harrington Richards Arms 20 gauge brick action shotgun. Really cool old gun, but again, when she bought it, the gun was not functioning. It was missing a couple internal parts. And I think she said she bought it for like 65, 75 bucks at a pawn shop, and she still had to go through a 44, 73 to get to that. Now, she bought it knowing she was not going to fix it to make it a you know, working gun. What she wanted to do is make me a really cool gift that I think any gun person would love. So let me stop blabbering, you know, while standing in the way of the thing, and let me show it to you. She got me a lamp. Yes, this is a shotgun lamp. And what's cool is the base came from some tornado damage. And let me just bring the camera in a little closer and talk about the shotgun when you can actually see the details of this thing. Now that we're in here a little bit closer, you can see the base is made from wood. Now this wood actually came from a tree that had been damaged during a tornado and you know here in Oklahoma we have a lot of tornadoes. My mom had to cut the base of the, you know, the stock of the shotgun a little bit to get it flat so it would fit on the base. Old brake action. That is a shotgun shell that she used to make the handle. And an old shotgun shell that she used to make the top. What's cool is when she was making it this shotgun shell and that shotgun shell were actually found in the buttstock of the shotgun. When she opened, when she took the screws out of the butt plate, those two shotgun shells fell out. Another little cool thing about this lamp is the base, again, like I said earlier, was taken from some tornado damage that, you know, a tornado had come through Oklahoma, uh, central Oklahoma, and torn up a lot of stuff. She found the trunk of the tree and somebody had cut it down real short. And what she did was use that, took it to a saw, you know, someplace I could cut it, cut it really thin to make this. Another really cool feature about this, as I turn the lamp around, you see the wire does not actually protrude on the outside of the gun at all. What she did is she actually screwed, and she actually drilled the base, you know, in, you know, with a little drill bit through the sidewall of the base used the hole used to attach the uh, receiver to the stock, drilled right next to it, and ran the wire up through the stock, the receiver, drilled out the firing pin hole, and ran the wire up the barrel. So I can run the light. Now let me show you what this looks like from underneath. Now I have the light off now, so the video is not getting blown out. But what's cool is you can actually see the screw she used to put in the the part that actually holds the light bulb and everything, she drilled out the front sight, you know, bead and used a screw right there. So it's still kind of like a makeshift front sight. Now I have the light off now, so I, the video is not getting blown out. But what's cool is you can actually see the screw she used to put in the the part that actually holds the light bulb and everything. She drilled out the front sight, you know, bead and used a screw right there, so it's still kind of like a makeshift front sight. Again, she used the shotgun shell that she found in the gun, you know, here in the base, you know, as a little pull string. Yeah, and for about a hundred bucks, maybe 125 bucks, she made me a really cool shotgun lamp. I really like it. Well, folks, now that you've actually seen the lamp up close, you know, seen kind of some of the, you know, little cool pieces, realize this was not that difficult of a project. My mom was able to do it, and she has physical limitations in her arms and hands, and she was more than capable of doing this herself with tools that she had at her house. Uh, you know, now granted, she got a you know pretty good tool set you know, from my grandfather, but folks, you know, guys, if you want to make this for yourself. It's not that expensive. It's really cheap compared to some of the firearms that we own. So, you know, you could do it. It doesn't really take that many tools. You know, some drill bits, uh, drill, you know, wire, you know, kit. It's not that difficult to do. And ladies, if you want to do this for your husbands or boyfriends or sons or fathers, 
that are gun guides, again, it's not that hard of a thing to do. And ladies, if you have a husband or a man that you know you want to do it for your son or your father or whatever, have them help you. you know, or you can do it yourself. My mom was able to do it herself, and again, she's got physical limitations. So it's not outside of the realm of possibility. But folks, this has been Fatty with a Firearm. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and wait for more cool videos to come in the future. Thanks for watching.